Hello everybody, welcome back to Jersh Reacts. In today's video, we're going to react to Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Season 2, Episode 3, Dennis and Dee Go on Welfare. I think this is one of the first ones that maybe didn't start with the gang XYZ. It actually specifies specific characters, Dennis and Dee, so that's interesting. Uh, I'm really enjoying my reaction to this show. I'll try not to waste too much time getting into it. If you like this series, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube. Uh, if you want to support me further and see this series first, I release uh, the reactions to this show early over on Patreon. I have links, I'll have a link to my Patreon in this uh, video description. Otherwise, it's just everything for me is at Superjersh. Patreon, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, at Superjersh. Um, so I think, yeah, for the last episode, it was the first time we'd experienced some continuity. In episode one, they got hit by the car. In episode two, they were still reeling from the effects of that with neck braces and some... Um, uh, what was the word I'm looking for? Some casts still. I've actually, I broke my left wrist when I was young and I've been in a cast before. So I know, uh, that pain and that frustration of having a hairline fracture, having a cast on, then finally getting annoyed with, uh, how itchy a cast can get. Then when you get a cast off, I still remember the pain. I'm like, my wrist was so fragile. I like missed the cast. I wanted it back because it was so, it hurt so bad. Anyway, enough talk about me. Uh, I'm going to start the timer here. As a reminder, the timer is for you to know where I'm at in the show because I'm going to cut out some of the lulls. Um, I highly recommend watching the show on your own first. I happen to be watching it on Hulu. Okay, let's start the timer. I believe that's original Xbox on a CRT. We should all feel old. They're not going to be fine. <laughs> I wonder how much research they did into this to make fun of these types of uh, advantages that are being taken. Jesus, what? <laughs> God damn. Oh my <laughs> No shit. God. They're gonna hire them. Pay them shit. Oh my fucking...
Jesus Christ. I do think... Actually, I don't know. I don't want to speak for them, but... You definitely can tell this is... It's already an older show. Crazy how time flies. Oh, he's done. He, oh, they're buying drugs here. I thought they were just talking about how they were going to go buy it. How much would you recommend for a first time user? <laughs> Sizing them up. How much money can I get? It's also interesting how to take advantage of these assistance programs, they're being forced to take to get into drugs. <laughs> Tro. Go tro to pigskin. Oh my. <laughs> the fuck, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Never I don't <laughs> Oh my god. Now they've like they've transitioned into actual junkie lifestyle. <laughs> they were <laughs> not even they're trying to go to the doctor. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, he's playing football with him. Jesus Christ. This is so fucking dumb. <laughs> it's so I can't believe they did, like, they kept this up for 15 seasons. I feel like they've already touched on so many things that other shows wouldn't come near. You know what I mean? Especially at the time. I feel like, I feel like the language that they're using is of a time that it wouldn't be used a lot these days. But I feel like the subject matter is probably still considered taboo no matter when. So the fact that they have tackled so much crazy subjects and just been so crass with it i'm just like i mean what have you hit already you've hit you know mental illness you've hit substance abuse issues you've hit terrorism you've hit gun control gun rights you i just i'm just like i don't know i'd be curious i'd be curious to see if i kept watching it like how many new subjects they tackled or if they revisit some stuff I mean, 15 seasons is a lot of TV. That's crazy. Anyway, 
Really funny episode. I did not see the um, I did not see the crack addiction angle coming. I thought that was a really fun spin. I also thought it was really smart how they kind of teased actual real life problems with these programs, but then they like cut it off. Like when uh, the two new employees were trying to explain to Danny DeVito like why, you know, uh, that it is a vicious cycle between you know welfare and and drug abuse and how it's kind of hard to get out from under when you're not making ends meet. And he just, and you need to answer the phone. I'm like, if that's not a perfect fucking metaphor for America, I don't know what is because people just want to turn off their brains and not think about the real problems. So I don't know. It's good stuff. It's a really interesting show. I just, yeah, damn. I can't believe some of the stuff they've done already. I'm like kind of scared. <laughs> So, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. If you like this series, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment some of your thoughts on some of my thoughts and what you thought of this episode and uh, any other requests for reactions that you have. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.